Hello, how are you? Good to see you again. It's always a fucking pleasure. Thanks for joining me. Yay. Um, okay. As I mentioned the other day, I'm gonna have to put some stuff down to keep my shit from blowing away. I didn't mention that. After Gosh showed that, gosh, <laughs> after Josh showed that Gonzo, um, and called it a, uh, which is what it looks like, a, a clone to a Ontario rat. I've never given the Ontario rat much thought, and because he posted that video, which is good, you know, and it's good that night people do that, you know, they post other videos about things, and then we can see them and get a general idea without even handling them if we like that or not. So that's a good thing. Kind of like saves us some money when we pass shit on like that. And thank you for doing that, Josh. And the other people that do it, too. So anywho, so I got to looking, and I ordered it on uh, Amazon. I saw it. It was like 20 bucks. And it just so happened I gave the knife that I keep in the car to somebody else so they can have a little knife. And it wasn't that much of an account of a knife, maybe a $10 one. But I keep it in the car, and it doesn't matter if I lose it, and if I need one, you know, I'm having to reach in my pocket and blah, 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 blah. I ordered that one. That should be here tomorrow, and we'll take a look at it and do a comparison. And it is a clone. It's not a counterfeit, okay? And below, I'm going to put in my description, I'll put a link to a, a, a guy's video that he showed a counterfeit rat. Rat 1, I believe it was. I'm like, why would you do that? I mean, the rat's only like 35 bucks, 35, 40 dollars. Why would you clone it unless they can, unless the, or the counterfeit people make it for like three or four dollars and then they make like 30 bucks on it and it costs a, the rat people 20 dollars and they make 50. I don't know. I, I have no idea, but it's not like it's, it's like a, a high-end knife like you know you a, a microtech and you're cloning a microtech or counterfeiting well i i, I don't know i, I don't know mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, I, I'm, yeah i just don't know there's a lot of shit i don't know and consequently that's the kind of shit that i'm not going to pass on to you because i i i just don't know so anyway, um, and watch out for Amazon. I was looking through, I almost ordered these two rats off of Amazon. The one rat comes in OS 8. Another one comes in D2, and that's when I saw the rat one, or, or the, the littler rat. The No, the two. It's a two because of D2, R2, D2, because now it comes in D2. When Nick Shabazz looked at it, he, he put it in... Um, he called it uh, R2-D2. He said that would be cool when he did his second video because the first video he did on it, it, it his was in OS 8, and he said if they made this in D2, that would be great. Well, they did. I'm like, cool beans. So it's an R2-D2. So, but it was the rat, well, the bigger rat, which is the bigger rat? The rat one is the bigger one. I don't fucking know. I lose track. So, who can keep up on all this? Too many numbers. Anyway, uh, fuck me. I lose, yeah, I lost track. Um, oh, so there's one on Amazon. And yeah, the, the price is a lot cheaper, but some things on Amazon I just don't trust. Some things I just got a gut feeling about. It. I'm reading the on this rat one. Uh, it said in the picture D2, okay, written on the blade. But then in the description, the seller put alloy steel. Now, from what I gather, alloy steel is several elements such as and yes, I'm reading this because I can't even say the word, such as molybdenum, magnes, nickel, chromium, vanadium, silicone, and boron. That could be anything. So, and then a few other people have commented and said, you know, I ordered a D2 knife, but, and they never really say anything that is D2 except on the blade. A guy said, I ordered a D2 knife and they sent me an OS 8. You got to be careful. Read the fine print. 
You know, why put alloy steel if it's D2? Some of them put stainless steel. Why put stainless steel if it's D2 or Ross 8? I, I don't know. I, mm -hmm. A lot of things I don't know, but I've discussed that already. So anyway, uh, uh, little things to worry about and don't worry about them if you don't care. And if you do care, then fucking worry about them. And I'm going to adjust this camera and so you don't have to look at an empty seat for the rest of your life. Okay, boys and girls, there we go. I know this is bringing this back a little bit. Nope, back, back, Ken, get back. There we go. Okay, let's get started. This came from KnifeWorks. K-N-I-F-E-W-O-R-K-S. Yes, I can spell. Reading is fundamental. So are phonics. Get hooked on phonics. Uh, they sent it in lickety split record time. Very minimalist box. It's just a box and you know they did really good I can recycle all of this except they have some peanuts on the inside yeah just a few peanuts but that's good it's a small box okay now I ordered these both at the same time and come to find out if you keep an eye out on things you'll see that I also ordered I'm tilted why am I tilted I don't know I'm probably because my head's tilted the wrong way what are you going to do? The camera's tilted. Everything's tilted. Everything's wonky. There, that's a little unwonky. We don't want to be wonky. Okay. So anyway, so... And actually ordered another one. I ordered the, uh, the assisted. I'm not in a, a video mode today, and that's why everything's coming out all rambly and everything. I ordered an assisted one. It's the Ontario Rat 1A. I says, I'll give that a try. And that was only 60 bucks. And look here, these two knives came out to $35 and roughly $39. Here it comes. Where can you get $20 or um, $80 worth of knife, less than $80, two of them. And the quality that they showed. Now let's take a little look. And I have looked at these before. Okay, this is Ontario Rad, which is Randall's Adventure Training. I doubt I'll take this on an adventure. I ordered these in Coyote. Very nicely done. Very, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, I counted the other day. I had, somebody had asked, so I counted them. I had 99 folders. And I was like, wow. I better do something about that because... That's a very uneven number. So now I have 101. And then tomorrow I have 102. And then after that I have 103. And lion, tigers, and bears on mine. This is the rat too with a three inch blade. Close is 4.1 inches. Very nicely done. Very, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I, of course I'm gonna move this clip, but I wanna tell you something about this clip before I move it. This, along with the Rat 2 is the only, or the Rat 1, is the only clip that I've ever felt that is, is uh, tipped down that does not get in the way. It doesn't get in the way of the hand. It doesn't like, you know, even though it, it, it hits right here, it doesn't poke, you know? I mean, it's, it, but I'm still going to change it because I don't like tip down. Well, that's just, but still. And it's not too grippy right here. It, it's, it's got a very, very nice texture. The spacers are, are very well done. It's, it's just overall a very handsome little tiny knife. It's a liner lock, of course. Closed, we had 4.1, but 7.0. Now watch this. Ooh, almost wish I'd like... Huh, I wonder how fast the assist is going to come open. Very nice. Um, I'm sticking to the paper. It's been very sticky the past couple days. Very nice graphics on the blade. Model 2 D2. It has Taiwan right here. Nice jimping. Just, as, just aggressive enough to get your attention. I have small hands, but this thing fits my hands really well very well no finger choil up here you got a choil back here you do have a choil or sharpening choil frame lock of course no excuse me liner lock i'm sorry 
Now this grind, they call it a grat, grat, shit, told you I can't talk today. Grind flat, shit me. Try this again, gosh. <laughs> grind full flat taper. That's hard to say, and I haven't been drinking. Material is nylon six. Weight, this thing is only two point, oop, get back in frame, Ken. 2.8 ounces. Hardness they have on this is a 62 or 64 HRC. And the clip, of course, either way you want it, upside down, sideways, backwards, left, right. And you can open this left-handed or right-handed. I don't know how well you can close it. I'm not a, yeah, look at that. Scared of me. That is a sweet blade. Well done. Well put together. I mean, it's, it's, and I love a flat grind. I really do. Let's take a look at the other one. This one, the Ontario Knife Company, of course, out of Taiwan. It's been a very, very congested week. It, I even have an earache. I had an earplug in, but I couldn't hear what I'm doing here. This one is a lot heavier. Yeah, buddy. Yes, a lot heavier. This is 5.2 ounces. This one, remember, is 2.8. That's like almost double. Probably is double if I did the math. Who wants to do math? I can't even do numbers. <coughs> Hooked on phonics. Oh, closed, five inches. Five inches closed, confused. I can see right in here that the the washers are a, a brass or a copper, which is cool. Overall, check this out. Yes, doesn't come open as snappy. Not as snappy as, but yeah, you just gotta snap it a little bit more because it's a bigger knife. Overall, we're looking at 8.5 inches. The grind they have is flat. They don't say it's full flat taper, they just say it's flat, like my head. Right in here, we got the logos. Now I've checked these logos and make sure this one, this logo is a little bit different. This logo is a little bit different. See? The logos are a little bit different. See? Huh. Anyway, that's a very, very hefty knife. 3.5 inches is a drop point, the same as the other one. The thickness is 0 0.51 right in here, so about a half inch. Handles nylon, the liner is stainless steel. The weight, I said, is 5.2 ounces. The clip is left, right, or sideways, whichever way you want to do it. It is a liner lock, and both of these come out of Taiwan. And yes, I'm going to change that clip out, but like this one, that clip, this is the only clip I've ever seen on a tip down knife that is not in the way. Not at all. And I got them in tan because, well, I have enough black knives. And you know, tan knives matter. Huh, it looks a little uh, cheesy at first, but I'll get used to it. It almost looks like it, you know, it reminds me with this uh, contouring here, it reminds me of butterscotch. <laughs> anyway, I brought some shit out to compare it to, but before I do that, let's go with sharpness. Yes. They did good. Very good. Let's try this one. Okay, we're done with that. We're done with that. Comparison. Let's go with the smaller one first. With the Spider Code Native 5. Give you a general idea of size comparison. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. The Mini Freak from Benchmade. Yeah. The Bug Out. Come on, Bug Out. There we go. 
Mm-hmm. This is the uh, Benchmade Griptilian. Give you a general idea of the size of that. And this is a C-Jar, C-Jar, C-J-R-B, something like that, uh, Felspar. It goes for like $35. And it's a nice little, nice little knife. You know? And you compare that to this one here. The bigger the Rat 1 So yeah, cool knife. All right, so you know, in closing, but I'm still impressed that somebody can get a, a, a nice quality knife for uh, pennies. Okay, look. Enough of this. I like them. I think they're cool. They're nice little fidget knives. Uh, I'm impressed by them. I mean, like I said, where in the world can you get... I mean, especially nowadays. Nowadays, you got... I mean, people charging... $150, $200, dollars $300 for a knife. Uh, even knives made out of Taiwan. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my take on that. I'm glad I got a... I, I've never heard about... I never really looked at Ontario until now. I thought they were, like, really expensive and shit. Now, maybe some are. Maybe some aren't. On that note, I have to go now. I'm going to finish my tea and enjoy this breeze. And we'll see you, and thank you for joining me. It's always a fucking pleasure.